hello everyone welcome back once again to my youtube channel victoria physics and i hope you all are fine we have already discussed this section in theoretical part in the class and i hope it's quite clear to you all so today we'll uh, see this uh, sr flip flop in breadboard i've already uh, done the circuit in breadboard and and explain it to you one by one and uh, i have taken only nand ic over here and for the convenience i have used the pin markings as well so that is easier for you all to understand the circuit and here comes the truth table that is to be followed while performing the experiment okay so take a closer view of the circuit that i have just completed i have taken a nand ic and make the pins connections uh, pin number 7 will be uh, connected to ground pin number 14 is connected to the power supply line high line okay and after that just see this is the first uh, nand gate that i have used and this is s and this is r so this is my s this red wire is my s and so it's pin number 1 i've connected s over there i've made this terminal s pin 2 and 4 as you can see in the figure is been connected and so it's pin 2 and my pin 4 is connected okay after that pin 5 is connected to r okay so this is my pin number 5 this is my pin number 5 that is been connected to r as you can see over here okay so pin number 6 which is the output of the second nand gate and pin number 3 the output of the na first nand gate so we'll be working with that so 3 goes to 9 the third uh, nand gate input one of the third nand gate input so i have connected uh, 3 to 9 over here and this 6 will be connected to 13 so my pin number 6 is connected to pin number 13 okay after that pin 10 is connected to pin 11 so pin 10 is connected to pin 11 the short wire is being used and uh, pin number 12 is connected to 8 so my 12 and 8 are being connected so i hope this is quite visible to you all just take a screenshot if you wish and you can implement i wanted to make the video while uh, connecting the circuit but since i'm not so much well versed in making videos so just i uh, made the circuit and i'm explaining it to you okay after that you need the output that is q and q bar so q is being connected from pin number 8 this is pin number 8 of the ic and i have attached a resistance this is a 1 coulomb resistance and from there i have connected an led so that is uh, easier for you all to understand the truth table and this is q bar which is being connected from pin 11 okay so pin 11 gives you q bar also the same way i have connected another led Uh, for better understanding so this is the entire circuitry of sr flip flop using nand gate and i will be using this power supply where i have um, a clock system over here so i'll place the clock in this part of the picture as you can see that is uh, in pin 2 and 4 connections okay in between that and there is a manual clock and there is an auto i'll be using a manual one so that it's uh, better for you all to understand okay let's begin so you can see i've just connected my uh, power supply over here this is my uh, positive supply line and i've connected in over here and this is my negative supply line that i've connected in this section okay i hope it's visible and this is the clock part that i have connected in between pin number 2 and 4 okay and we have to follow this truth table so uh, let's begin so first initially when there is no clock pulse you have a memory okay and after that i'll begin with 
let's start so i um, now you can see from the two two table okay uh, just uh, my hand is shaking a lot okay so this is zero i haven't pressed any clock pulse and this snr also not given see you can see the loose uh, loose uh, wires over here then you have something in memory okay so when i apply a clock pulse and i make uh, snr 00 then also the memory should be retained now keep in mind this this wire is for q q and this wire is for q bar okay so let's begin i make this both s and r as 00 okay so i'm making this snr 00 and I'm applying a clock pulse. So as per the two table, it should have the memory that is being shown. Okay. So I'm applying a clock pulse. So it doesn't change. That means the memory is retained. Now moving on to the next level. So I'll apply a clock pulse and I'll make the changes over here. So I'll make S as high voltage now as one logic one and keep r in ground level in zero logic okay so making this as logic one okay and i will press this clock once so you can see when i press the clock what happens then my Q will glow and Q bar is off. So my Q is glowing and my Q bar gets off. Okay. Now the next one with clock pulse now make S as 0 and R as 1. So I'll make S as 0 and I'll make R. As one okay I made s0 table Q is now glowing and sorry Q bar is now glowing and Q is off okay I hope it's clear okay moving on to the last step in this section I'm making both of them as one and then I'm applying a clock pulse so this state is an invalid one as you can see okay now again if I make this as zero zero I'm moving and I'm making this as zero zero condition to see whether it retains the memory okay so what you'll see is when I apply a clock pulse, it is still showing you the memory. So this is how the SR flip-flop with the help of NAND gate operates. Okay. So you all make this um, circuit and just check the truth table. I hope it's uh, quite clear now and it's uh, going to benefit you. Uh, in our next video, I'll show you how to make the D flip-flop and JK flip-flop. If you have any kind of queries, you can also